good morning beautiful people excuse my drowned rat look <laughs> it is early in the morning i just had a shower in my house coat uh, obviously bare face and i've got the little one snuggling here beside me under a blanket <laughs> and i'm actually about to get ready um i try and let my hair dry as much as possible just because i obviously bleach it and uh, letting it air dry it just helps minimize like the amount of breakage as a blonde but i am going to put a face on in a few moments and i am going to do a getting ready with me video because it has been a while since i've done one one of you actually brought that up in the comments yesterday or a couple days ago um so i will do an like an updated makeup routine so you guys can see it but i am going to get ready this morning put on an outfit and then we're going to take jasmine to the vet just to make sure her paw is okay which you guys saw me talk about yesterday um, she seems to be like all right this morning, so I'm sure it's probably gonna be nothing, but I just wanna make sure I like to be air on the safe side because I'm a fur mama. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to do that, and then we've got some work today to do, and I've got some things to pick up, and I also have to tidy the house because I've got my book club coming over later tonight, even though there's not actually a book that we read today. But um, yeah, it's just going to be some good old fashioned festive fun. Uh, while I was sitting here having my coffee, I actually wrote an Instagram post about irrational fear and negative self-talk that we experience when we try something new or that we try something that we haven't with our style in a while. So if you guys are interested in that, go check out my Instagram. I actually think it was a good post. <laughs> so you guys can go and have a read uh, about that post there. But I'm going to just finish sipping on my coffee for the next like five, 10 minutes. Uh, I'm gonna let this one continue sleeping because she's softly snoring next to me. And then I'm gonna get ready. So I will talk to you guys in a bit. Okay, all back in the car. I uh, just finished taking Jasmine to the vet. I don't even know if, I don't know where I left, left you off. It might have been before I was even getting ready this morning. <laughs> uh, anyway, we, I just finished at the vet. I've just been in the grocery store picking up some stuff for tonight, dropped off some dry cleaning. It's all been very productive this morning. And uh, it's just after lunch now. We were with the vet actually for quite some time. So good news and not necessarily bad news, but not, Spectacular. So Jasmine's leg is fine. Oh, I just went over like a big ice chunk. I don't know if you guys heard that. <laughs> um, yeah, Jasmine's leg's fine, which I'm thrilled out about. Sorry. They think it was just maybe a little bit of bruising. So that, of course, just takes some time to get over. So they just said to keep doing what we're doing. Like, don't let her jump up anywhere, run around too crazy. Um, and she'll be okay. So we just have to monitor that for the next couple of weeks. Um, but while they were doing their exam, they found that Jasmine has a heart murmur, which is sad. So the heart murmur they found is like super, super early and it is very common in small dogs. Based on her age, because she's almost 14, they said that um, the fact that hers is only just showing up, because I mean, she gets her regular checkups. So the fact that it's only just showing up, they said is actually wonderful. Like not wonderful, but you know what I mean? like it is showing up late to the game for her and they said it is super minor so they just said things that we already know like don't push her if she gets tired on a walk like make sure you pick her up and she gets lots of rest afterwards which we knew and like she's been getting tired not a lot but I mean we don't take her for like really long aggressive walks and anytime she even like looks at me and like I know she doesn't want to walk anymore I always pick her up like I would never push an animal anyway and then they found this thing on her or so sorry long story short is she doesn't need any meds or anything for her heart murmur right now because it's so so minor they just want to monitor it and see how it is over the next little while because it may not need anything now the other thing was is they also found something on her eye like just in her general exam which like you really have to pull back the eyelid to even see in the first place is i'm like we watch our animals and i've never noticed anything but she's got like something just like a black spot above her eye like on the white part of her eye but you have to lift the lid to see it which is kind of weird looking so anyway the vet doesn't know that it's anything but she also said that like eyes are not her specialty like she knows generalized things but she showed a couple other vets and they just weren't too sure and didn't want to make any assumptions so they just said it's better that we go to a specialist for whatever's on her eye it's not bothering her or anything like that they just said things like that that show up are always obviously better to be more informed and get the information than not 
So we are being referred to an eye specialist for her, um, just for like a general consult so they can have a look at it. She said for all they know, it might be nothing. Um, but I like to err on the side of safety with my animals and I will pay whatever is necessary to make sure they're healthy. So it won't be any time before the new year just because the waiting list is quite long, but I imagine in January sometime we'll get an appointment for that and be able to take her for it. So anyway, we're just homeward bound now and we'll see what we're up to next. Hello beautiful angels, I've done some cleaning, I've done some work, and now it's later on in the afternoon and Sean's also home, and he is just putting some, is it tape? I don't know what it is. Something uh, alongside some of the pictures because they were all sliding crooked. So he's just putting some stuff on there to make sure they don't go sliding around everywhere. Anyway, for me right now, because uh, it is getting later and I need to make sure everything's ready for when the women come over, I actually have my secret Santa gift I have to watch, or have to watch, have to wrap, sorry. Um, and I keep forgetting about it. So I wanna do it now before I seriously, seriously forget. We were held to a $30 budget for the gifts. So, because they're always just silly gifts or something like this, I got mine. Let's turn you around. So I got my gal, which is Michelle which she'll have gotten hers by the time, so it doesn't matter that I say that. So I got her this little like wine coffee set. So it says coffee dot 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 when it's too early for wine and then a wine glass that says wine for when it's too late for coffee. I just thought it was cute and everything is uh, gold writing and then it's got a gold rim around the glass and coffee mug, which I thought was cute. So I'm glad I found it because I suck at Secret Santa. I never know what to buy. <laughs> Ever. Like I'm not good with like small kitschy things like some people are great for stuff like that Like my girlfriend Katie for example She's so good at putting together like gifts with like little things and they look so cute and she does such a good job I Stink at that. I, I truly stink at it. So what? You just stink. Oh, shut up <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, I'm happy that I at least found the set. I saw like, I was thinking at first like, oh, I'll get some nice candles, I'll get like blah, 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 but all the candles that I saw were either too expensive for the budget or it didn't have, like it smelled really artificial, like it didn't smell good at all. So yeah, I was getting stuck on what to get. So anyway, I settled on this, so hopefully she likes it. I never know with stuff like this. I'm so crap at getting gifts like that, which bothers me because I really actually put a lot of thought typically into gifts and want to make sure that someone really, really likes them and can use them. So I'm sure she will. Michelle's always a good sport, so I'm sure she'll probably, uh, she'll, she'll be fine. But anyway, that's what I got her. So I'm gonna wrap this now. Even the packaging's cute. Look, gold and like a, almost like, that's actually almost the color of my sweater. That's the alternate stripe in there. Uh, okay, yeah, so I'm gonna wrap her gift. And no. then, what? We're talking about it, just do it. Shut up. <laughs> I should actually. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna wrap this and I'll talk to you guys in a bit. Okay, done wrapping the gift. <laughs> Fun fact about me. <laughs> I can't wrap for the life of me. Look how terrible that looks. <laughs> oh my God, and this side. <laughs> Can put an outfit together, no problem. Wrap in a Christmas gift so it looks nice. Nope, not at all. Oh my God, but how cool is this wrapping paper? I actually picked it up from, I don't remember where. Was it Walmart? Yeah, so it's got this on one side and I didn't even notice, but it's got a, oops, completely different wrapping paper on the other side. But I actually think Michelle would like that side better, so. That's what I've wrapped it in, no matter how poorly the wrapping job was, but that's okay, it's the thought that counts. <laughs> uh, anyway, I am going to continue doing some work, and I will catch, catch up, sorry, with you guys in a little bit, because I'm gonna show you how to make that dip that I mentioned to you yesterday. It's an artichoke and garlic dip, and it's phenomenal. And you dip some crusty like French bread in it. Oh my God, it's so good. Uh, so we're gonna do that and just get ready for a night of fun. Hello again, beautiful people. It is now 5.30. 
Uh, I did a little bit of eye makeup and just touched up my makeup in general. Uh, and I did a quick outfit change, which I'll show you guys in just a second. Um, but I still have to put on some lipstick and flat iron my hair because it's looking a bit frizzy right now. However, the reason I've gotten back on the camera is I thought we would do the advent now just because otherwise I won't end up doing it with the girls here tonight. So I'm gonna do the advent, I'm gonna cook some dinner, and then I'm gonna start just placing things around and getting the dip prepped because uh, it does need to go in the oven for 20 minutes. So let's get organized, let's get our evening started. And then we'll pour some wine later. Okay, so we are on day number eight. Where are we in here? Oh, here we go. I will say, it's much easier to find all the stuff in this oven calendar than it was in Diptyque. All right. So we are having, oh, another black tea. Cream of Earl Grey. Oh, I've had this one before. It's really, really yummy. So I will probably have this while I make tea. Or while I make tea, while I make dinner. Let's try that again. <laughs> and uh, yeah, this will be super good. Okay, all tea was phenomenal. Definitely highly recommend the cream of Earl Grey. So good. <laughs> so we're up to three teas now that I like. Uh, and I had dinner and now we are going to make some of the artichoke dip that I was telling you guys about. This is a super, super easy recipe that you can make anytime you are hosting or you need to bring like an appetizer or something. It's laughably easy. So I'm going to show you how to make it and I will leave the ingredients and the quick like description for this down in the description box for any of you that are interested and want to recreate it. So I'm going to show you what you need. Okay. So first thing you need is a food processor. I just have a little mini one, but of course if you have a big one, you can use that as well. So you need that hooked up. You will also need some Parmesan cheese. Now do not get actual Parmesan only because re like real Parmesan as much as I would want to use it as well makes this way too greasy. You'll end up with like a pool of grease on top of your dish. So get like just the quote unquote wood chip, wood chip kind. <laughs> um, you're going to use some real mayo. So no light stuff. None of the non-fat, like any of that crap, you want the real stuff. Uh, you also want some garlic powder or one garlic clove minced, so whichever you prefer. I just have the garlic powder, so that's what I'm gonna use. And then you want one small jar of artichokes, or artichoke hearts, sorry. So this one from Unico is usually what I pick up. I find if you get a large jar, it kind of downplays the taste of everything else. So these little jars are perfect. So what I'm going to do first is take the lid off of this and drain the oil. Now, because they're, they are so oily, obviously from sitting uh, like in the oils in here, I'm going to leave it tipped upside down in the sink with the lid like sort of semi twisted off uh, just so that the oil can continue to drain out and off of the artichoke. And then I'm going to mix these instead in the meantime. Do yourself a favor and go get you some. Okay, all I've got most of my stuff prepped downstairs, got the dip cooking. Uh, Paula will be over in a moment because she's in the book club as well and then we're waiting on everybody else. So I thought I would show you what I decided to put together as an outfit, because it's just like an at-home holiday thing, so it doesn't need to be too overdone. I've got some 
Earrings that you guys have seen a thousand times, these hexagon earrings with a little bit of bling in them. I don't know, I find them so special, I love them. I've had them for quite some time. I am wearing my necklace that you guys saw on Vlogmas Day 2 that I picked up from Green Bijou, that's Trisha McMaster's uh, company. I just like that it's dainty but has a little bit of bling. Oh, I think that's Paula at the door. Uh, and then I'm wearing the black like pleather pants you guys saw the other night. And I have some like corporate tight slash stockings just to cover my feet because I thought normal socks would look a little bit crazy. And then just a nice white sweater and a black belt. So anyway, this is my outfit for the night and I'm gonna get started with everything. See you guys soon. Hello again, angels. It is now uh, 10.30. Oh, bright lighting. The book club festivities ended. Oh my gosh, my hair's looking crazy. Um, actually ended early tonight. So the girls have actually been gone for an hour. They were only here for two hours. So it was quite a short little uh, get together tonight. So very tame, but nice and cozy. Just nice visiting with everybody and spending some time together. So I just, I didn't shoot anything for you guys to show it to, so I apologize. Uh, I did show you the food spread, that was about it. So we had a lot of food, we did eat most of it, which was great. And now I'm just currently in the kitchen cleaning everything up, packing some of the stuff away. I've entered, or put some of the stuff in the dishwasher. I'm just gonna tackle some of the dishes. Uh, Paula stayed a little bit longer, of course, because we always hang out. Uh, so she only just left. She's an early day tomorrow too. And actually tomorrow I'm looking forward to it because we have our annual Christmas pudding stir where we, well, I'll explain all that to you tomorrow. Some of you may know already if you have journeyed with me through Vlogmas before, which is lovely. Um, and my nan and my aunt who are from out of town are coming in for the experience as well and to have some dinner. So we're going to be having some family time tomorrow, which I'm actually really looking forward to. Now, Sean's also on his way home. He vacated for the evening because usually when there's a larger group of women around, uh, depending on how rowdy things get, he likes to just vacate and clear out altogether. <laughs> <laughs> um, not that I blame him because he would have been confined basically to the bedroom because we take over the living room. So he just texted me and let me know he's almost home, which is lovely. Uh, but I think, to be honest, he and I are probably going to go to bed. He actually, unfortunately, has to work all this weekend. Um, he'll be joining us for like some of the family stuff tomorrow, but poor guy is on a deadline for a job closing. So he's got to work, uh, unfortunately, some long hours this weekend grab these pillows um what else do I have to tell you oh my pants were a big success for the night that you guys saw that I uh, showed you that were from Zara so much so that uh, Michelle and Paula that were here earlier <laughs> ordered them on their phone while they were here so they will be rocking these pants as well <laughs> they're actually super comfortable and I, the pants were only $49 which is pretty good I mean Zara's price point is pretty reasonable um, but for like the vegan leather or plastic essentially that you're wearing, I don't know, that kind of stuff to me is worth an investment. Maybe if the cut was like really spectacular because I know Stella McCartney makes some really beautiful things. So the only difference in that to me anyway would be stitching and cut. I mean, plastic's plastic in my opinion otherwise, so I can't see that there would be a massive difference in the fabric. But yeah, $49 for something like this to me is pretty good. So, uh... Anything else I want to share with you guys for tonight? We already did tea. Mm, I don't think so. I think today's vlog is just gonna be super short. Um, just one of those days where I did some work and didn't have really much to show you guys because it was the socializing thing where I just didn't feel comfortable filming it. It's just not that kind of crowd. But yeah, it was fun. I was happy to visit with everybody and I think it went well. We've arranged for our next book club, although we haven't settled on a book yet. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, yeah, oh, and our secret Santa went well. Paula was my secret Santa. <laughs> Although, bless her heart, I did know that because she told me in advance. But she got me something from Margaret, who is my esthetician or does my facials. You guys, uh, again, you would have heard of her if you watched Vlogmas last year. So she got me something from Margaret, which I love. Margaret's products are the best, or the products she sells. So this is GM Colin. It is the daily ceramide paper. <laughs> Oh, Sean's just coming in. Hey, babe. So. <laughs> anyway, this is what I got for the 
skincare. It's something I can apparently mix in with my moisturizer or just put on my face solo. I don't know, I've never used it before, so Margaret, if you're watching, you'll have to show me what I'm supposed to do with this. <laughs> uh, but anyway, I'm looking forward to it. So I'm going to shut off for the evening, guys. Again, apologize, I don't know what you've really watched today. It may not be a whole heck of a lot. Uh, but I'm sending you guys all the love to the moon and back, and I will see you again tomorrow. Bye, guys.